is Robin with Creative Two Time Mom, and today I'm going to be sharing with you our scripture memorization process in our homeschool. So, welcome back to my channel. My name is Robin, and this is Creative Two Time Mom. This channel is all about homeschooling, parenthood, and thriving in the day to day. And today I'm going to be sharing with you how we memorize scripture in our homeschool. Previously, I shared with you how we use poetry and poetry memorization in our homeschool, so I will link that video down below. The process is similar, but I'm hoping that you will check out that one because there are a few ideas in there that may be better for your family. But for us, we have been using the scripture memorization process from Simply Charlotte Mason. We've been using this process for about a year, a year and a half, and it's worked pretty well for us, so I thought I would share it with you. I just have an inexpensive index card box from Walmart, Target, any sort of office supply store out there. Mine's falling on the floor from lots of use. <laughs> and then I've got some dividers inside and lots and lots of extra index cards, some in the back, some in the front that I've already filled out and are ready to go. On my tabs, I have daily. I also have two tabs that are even and odd. I have five for Monday through Friday because that's when we homeschool is our Monday through Friday. And then I have a bunch in the back that are numbered one through 31 for the days of the month. So this is how the process works. You start with putting one scripture verse behind daily and that is the verse that you're going to practice every day. If you're just starting this activity, that's going to be the only verse that you're going to have. You go through that every day and then hopefully the goal is that by Friday, you would have that verse down. We add this to our morning basket, so we know every morning we're gonna go over that verse a couple of times together. I might ask the kids to tell me as much as they remember, and then we just read it together to solidify what they don't remember or what we're working on. At the end of the week, that scripture verse is going to go into either even or odd, whichever slot you have open, and a new verse goes into daily. At the end of that week, then you should have an even, an odd, and a daily. You see where I'm kind of going with this. Every time it moves out of the daily, it moves to the even or odd slot, whichever one is ready to be switched out. Once I've filled both of those, and I'm ready to kind of shuffle everything back again, then whichever one I've had the longest, my even or odd, I'm going to take that one out, and I'm going to put it on Monday. I'm going to repeat that process until I have Monday through Friday, or if you do Tuesday through Saturday, whatever your school days are, until those are all filled up. And then as I have to shuffle them again, then they're going to go into a day of the month. So currently, today is February 25th. So this morning we did our daily verse. We did an odd verse for review. We did a Thursday verse for review, and we did a 25th verse for review. In fact, we actually didn't do 25 because we aren't there yet. <laughs> we don't have that many yet. But as you're memorizing them, you're constantly shuffling them back. Some great places if you're new to memorizing scripture and you're thinking, okay, I want to get um, basic theological answers, ideas down. Some good places to start is you can find on Sh Simply Charlotte Mason. She has some pre-printed scripture verse cards already. I will link those below that you can just print out and cut them apart and then use them as you need them. I always have a big stack of verses that are either from sermons on Sunday morning that I feel like we want to memorize together or just things that I'm learning in my own personal Bible study that we're going to memorize together. The other thing that I keep in this box is a little pamphlet called Teaching Bible Memory and this comes from I think it's Millstone Publishers. We use Rod and Staff curriculum, and this came from them. And in the back of it, after they share with you their process, they have a whole list of the scripture verses that are mentioned in their Bible curriculum and in their language arts curriculum. It's just the reference, but then you can look them up and add them to an index card as well. So those are just a few ideas of where you might start it can be from your own personal Bible study time or from one of these sources. I think the biggest thing is to just start. It can feel so overwhelming, especially if you have younger ones and you're wondering, can they really handle this? 
let me tell you, I have been surprised and pleasantly surprised by how well my kids are memorizing scripture together, especially through this process. This sounds sort of complicated and it sounds like it's going to take a lot of time and I kept thinking that too. How are we going to get through a daily, um, a weekly, a monthly, you know, it seems like a lot of scripture to review in the mornings, but where we're at right now, reviewing four to five different verses a day takes us about five minutes during our morning time. So if you have a morning basket, that's a great thing to throw it into. If you just want to do it while your kids are having breakfast together, or maybe your family has a meal together in the evenings, that would be a good time to review as well. Really, it's just the process of, it can feel so intimidating, but once you get going, you realize there's not, it doesn't take a lot of time. It just takes the habit of doing it every day to really solidify that scripture. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Leave me a comment down below if you decide to try this process or if you have a different process for memorizing scripture with your kids or even facts and figures. We've done that in the past too where we've memorized poetry or we've memorized history facts. Right now this is currently where we're at and we are loving it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see you next time. Bye guys.